doy with my hair all soon about And you came out from your mirror and began to shout You handed me a poem and tried to read it aloud But with unknown illusions it just brought me down Child, she knew but would not tell And I was still tossing dimes into the wishing well And it was not until the day of the feast That I came down to succeed, to say the least Yes, I feel okay I didn't need you anyway It's no different from what I'm told It's garden all covered with bliss because my taste buds blossomed with your gentle kiss but now you put on makeup and climb down the tree I am skipping stones alone feeling fancy free sometimes I see a snake It slithers through the streets And I know that she can see me But our eyes never meet And anything that I sing Will never bring you to tears For I've seen the spiders Crawling from your ears Yes, I feel okay I didn't need you anyway It's no different from what I'm told It's in with a new and I Yes, it's in with new and out with you. Yes, I feel okay. I didn't need you anyway. It's no different from what I'm told. It's in with a new and out with you. Blood of the land is in the body of the West. You can tell around harvest time. Yeah, the fruits of labor make it a grand one to savor, along with the struggle in the vine. You can make it on down to the Cochise County line with the arid air in your nose. Taste the toils and the triumphs And feel the trails of the migrants Without leaving to see where it grows And I raise my glass up high Yes, I raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away But there's a new kind of gold rush this time Bring in the riches straight to your lips It's the wine from these dusty vines This has been the land of the fighters Since we learned what it offered And it's always rewarded the tough 
those old gunfighters proud Surviving no matter how rough For in this old desert you gotta take what you can get And get while the getting's good on the land When the hard winds bring in the rain from the south You can get clusters that fit in both hands And I'll raise my glass up high Yes, I'll raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away Yes, the west is still wild when you look on it for miles But there's a new kind of gold rush this time Bring in the riches straight to your lips It's the wine from this dusty vine Going up on the mesa with my dusty vino And I'm watching the sun go down I revel in the land's beauty and the wine in the glass And the fact that it came from its ground I'll raise my glass up high I'll raise my glass to the sky to the whole desert away Hey everybody, I'm here with Olivia Bennett and she made this piece of art right here that's going to be going on a lot of different uh, Twisted X boots. Olivia, yes. can you tell me a little bit about this painting and yes. how it ended up on this beautiful boot over here? So I've been painting since I was five, so 25 years I've had my own gallery, I've been selling my work, but I recently did a charity auction where I auctioned off this painting and Prasad Reddy, the CEO of Twisted X, called me about a week later and he said, what do you think about doing a collab? He goes, I can see this on boots and I was like, Yes, it was the coolest sort of um, potential partnership for me because I love that there's so much surface to actually capture the image, but I also love that they love the land and they're, these are one of the first um, recycled leather boots that are hitting the market. It's called their Leather Twix and they've got just amazing products, comfortable products. They're really into, you know, sort of um, giving back and taking care of the land. I just love what the brand stands for. So it's yeah. exciting. It is very exciting. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind this piece? Yes, yeah, so this is the Yellow Rose of Texas. If you're from Texas, you know. But I just, I've always painted contemporary florals, so it was kind of a natural fit. I'm doing an entire series right now with the American flag interwoven into roses called Let Freedom Bloom. So this was just, just one for my home. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Where can people see more of the series? Let Freedom Bloom. So my website, oliviabennett.com, two N's, two T's, or on my Instagram, it is at Olivia Bennett Art. And the pen drags dry Deep breaths have only helped the 
the bubble grow to this size? Is it better to burst or continue the hurt from inside? Cause there's no telling what's next and no way to check over the rise. But the past starts to fade as I close out the chapter. The presence of in the sun, skeptical of the shine. I know I'm never alone, but still I want this path to be mine. I don't know the way and I already feel behind. What can I do in the light while I still have the time? familiar with your kind of my friend it's unlikely you'll have a respectable end but me i'm a businessman and i know life like this cigar in my hand too many people don't know if you cut it too high it will unravel and leave you dry i keep one for my romeo we julietas the other for your fingers you say you want more money for a trip to Vegas. I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. Man, I thought you were smarter than this. My only interests are cigars and interest. You're good for it is all you say. But you ain't won nothing since that horse lucky day. And so you see my dilemma now. And the need for collateral before you leave town. I keep a one for my Romeo with Juliet's eyes. The other for your fingers. You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas. I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. Getting in to get impatient here As you compromise my wealth here yeah. Since you don't use those fingers for counting cash I guess I will just help myself See, 
part of my living come from gambling on the gamblers and i like to keep those who keep a good handle but you've been a bad hand so i'll give you a bad hand instead of folding you and making you a dead man if you're still looking to leave here with green you better be willing to part with your pinkies yeah while i wait for you to make some digits you have to leave some digits here with me i keep a one for my for your fingers you say you want more money for a trip to vegas i will make sure that you come back to see us yes all right on their way to the sound but we can do better when the sun goes down and pave the way for sweet relief so i introduce the good thistle bill to clear blackberry bushes from the side of the hill and next to the road and across from the mill to keep away unintended grief yes we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief and heal where it is found so we'll dig up all of these thistles inside so you don't break your brick in the night now hold your applause until you hear the whole tale it's short and it's sad and unequivocally male Consuming all coffee that one can corral Is the start of this fair warning He stopped past the mill to find a tree But with none to be found he soon led Willie free Among all the thistles and cried out bitterly And we couldn't pull him out until the morning yeah, we stand for freedom to travel around And to get relief and heal where it is found So we'll dig up all of these thistles inside So you don't break your brick in the night Consider this tale before voting today And think of yourself in a similar way just then the whole hall roared with a number of yes we don't want our bricks breaking in the night yes we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief and heal where it is found so we'll dig up all of these thistles inside so you don't break your brain in the night Ladies and gentlemen, all around the globe, and let's share some time together before the work week takes hold. So join me tonight on this Boots and Ballad show, and maybe you'll be a winner of Twisted X Boots. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, 
Gamers, it's great to see you guys. How's it going? Happy Sunday to you. Good to see you. Yo, we got everybody in the house. Yo, Primas, good to see you. Hey, Carol. Hey, Neil. Whoa, Neil, Prim Neil Primas, and Nina are all up late on the other side of the of the pond good to see you guys hey michael good to see you hey carlos how's it going yo good to see you guys this evening Woo! i'm ready for a good one how about you yo hey next 711 how's it going yo don't be stupid you're gonna have to find out till the end you're gonna have to wait till the end to see who won the giveaway we got an awesome an awesome night ahead of us that's for sure it's great to see you guys this evening how's it going all around the world yo brody berry good to see you d -ug, yo from laredo texas hey freddie good to see you jim it's time to check into the show get your seats and enjoy let's go hey toady j good to see you yo Pete Woodfine in the house from UK. Another one from across the pond staying up late for this. I appreciate you. Yo, Adrian Lucas. Hey, how's it going? Prince of Retro. Good to see ya. Yo, yo, good to see you guys. Hey, John Cavada. Yo, Mark Somerville reporting in. That's what I'm talking about. Thomas Cuff, Cruff in the house. Yo, Manuel Shen says, how's it going? Yo, oh man, oh man. I'm so excited for this Twisted X Boots and Ballads because we are going to have two winners tonight. One for the guys up here and one for the ladies. Yes, let's go. It's a double giveaway night tonight. Yo, L Red Bull in the house. Loving the intro jam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yo, Philadelphia Piper. Yo, how's it going? Great to see you all tonight. Oh man, oh man. Let me give you the rundown here and the program for this evening. Here we go. We can see I'm going to play some songs here to kick things off with some giveaway prize packs. Then we're going to talk about sustainability in cowboy boots. You guys voted. And then I'm going to play some more songs and announce the winners of the men's and women's boots in between those songs. And then after this program is done, then stick around for the after party where it's just sort of fun and I get to answer a lot more of your questions and things like that. So that's the program we have for this evening. That's what we got lined up. So are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yo, Split 630 is ready from upstate New York. Good to see you. Mr. High Wind, good to see you here. Yo, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, you gotta be safe down there in Florida bracing for that hurricane. Yes, 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 stay safe. I wanna know what boots you guys uh, wore this Sunday or are wearing right now. Is it your favorite? Church Sunday boots. Let me know. Let me know. Put it in the live chat right now. I'm going with the Twisted X. Boom. The Twisted X gray boots from last time. Yes. Yes. I really like these ones. And from my travels, this is a popular one around South Dakota as well because you can see the cell stretch bubbles in there and people like this molasses EVA midsole. They think it's really comfortable and I would have to agree with them. How's it going? Let me know what you guys chose. Let me know what you guys chose. Next 77, next 711 is going with the Ariats. Brian's got those lucky 3416s that he won on a previous Boots and Ballads. Yeah, that's, what I'm, that's how you show up to a Boots and Ballads. Yo, Primaz is wearing those Nikona Bull Hides. Yes, I love it. I'm so glad you got those. They look great. Yes, huge shout out, Carol. Thank you for um, shouting out. Brenna, my wife, to giving her opinions on the women's boots up here. Yes, couldn't have done it without her. Jameson's in some El General boots. Yes, Ethan, Chisos number one. That's what I'm talking about. Brody Berry in some Stetson Pythons. Adrian, Ariat Ramblers. 
Philadelphia Piper Alpha Cayman. That's what I'm talking about. John is showing up to the Twisted X stream in Twisted X. Manuel's got some double H. Carol's got her boulets. Neil is in the Yeehaw Cayman boots. Yes. Oh, man. Jesse's got those white custom Packers on. Nina's got her Durangos. Oh, and Carlos has got those BNV JC collab boots. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Tody J wore the Dan Post ostrich, but it's in some slippers now because come on, it's Sunday evening. Why not have some slippers? <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Good to see you, Alex Lick in the house. Yo, let's go. Let's go. All right, all right. Roberto, it's been a long time wearing those diamond bull hides. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about and Jim's in his Nakonas oh man oh man hey Jim I thought about you at wall drug because they had the reverse sort of uh, ostrich leg uh, Luke Casey there and it looked great it looked great speaking of Luke Casey's Michael is in his Luke Casey's and Edgar is rocking those Nakonas as well all right all right here are here again is tonight's program gonna kick things off with the commandeer and as you can see the giveaway prize pack as well so let's get straight into it and do a giveaway before this first song and then you guys will put in the live chat if you want something you'll comment in the live chat while i'm playing the song and then at the end of the song i'll choose a winner with a random number generator so here's what we got up for grabs i got some cool twisted x merch here for you guys and a bunch of other stuff too a sticker pack check it out sticker pack with twisted x stickers and life is for taking chances boots and ballad stickers yes look at that a twisted x patch all right twisted x patch that's pretty cool a keychain set with a twisted x keychain on there and a bottle opener let's go a Twisted X little backpack. Yeah, these will be good for those of you who are on campus and maybe only have one class. Only one class Mondays. <laughs> those are good Mondays. I remember those. And a Twisted X water bottle. So that's what we got up for grabs here in the first prize pack. Let me put in the live chat right now. I'm going to put in comment now and every comment after that will be entered to win this giveaway. And then at the end of the song, we're gonna find our winner with a random number generator. There we go, comment now. Please refrain from doing too much spam or I might skip over you <laughs> when I am counting out the winner. All right, all right. So I'm gonna kick this off, this Boots and Ballads off with this song right here. It's called the Commandeer. Surprise, surprise, thinking I was happily reserved. Oh, no one really nothing and being so absurd. Yeah. For you took my eyes with your lovely words on that premier summer night. First in Paramount, you took my sight. And you don't need to tell me what I found, a shaman mirror. Subros to gems and quirks waiting to be explored And both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more As we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore Waiting to be taken to another world Where our love will be unfurled I don't know how this was seated to me, but I grovel here. Mm -hmm. Take me over, love. Yeah. You're the commandeer. Take 
me in your arms, love We'll travel to the right Share an inspiration While laying in your stardust Knowing that it's weird Right where I belong That's right where I Take it to the cities, I'm gonna take it to the towns And over a tram or rum, I'll tell the Elliot's what I found I'll tell them to keep their ears wide as they travel round For our love story will go far Mythologized but kept on par And with every thought of you my face fills between the ears <laughs> Take me over love yeah. You're the common dear Oh my It's alright Let's go, little commandeer, to kick things off right there. Yes, all right, all right. That's where we're stopping it. That's where we're stopping it here. Boom, that's it. Thank you all for joining me this evening. We're just about to announce our first giveaway prize pack, and we got 49 folks in here. Thank you so much to you guys for joining me. Just turned to 50. You guys are the best. We're going to find our winner right now. All right, random number generating our winner. And here we go. Okay, okay. Here is some intense music for you while I count it out. Boom, there we go. All right, all right, we got our winner. We got our winner. Our winner is Dylan Cox. Dylan Cox, congrats. Yo, the first prize pack winner of this evening. Yes, woo, you get the sticker pack. You get the sticker pack, you get the patches. The patch, the Twisted X patch, the keychain with the Twisted X bottle opener, the little Twisted X backpack here, and a Twisted X water bottle. Congrats, congrats, yo, to Dylan Cox, yes. I'm just gonna write your name down right here. Dylan Cox is the first prize pack winner, and uh, why don't you send me an email? at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com I'm putting it in the live chat send me an email so that you can claim your prize pack yes congrats Dylan congrats Dylan Cox yes all right all right mm. oh man oh man <laughs> <laughs> congrats congrats oh you guys are the best thank you so much for joining me this evening for the boots and ballads twisted x men's and women's giveaway so i got two pairs of boots to give away this evening let's take another look at that program here all right, so we just did the Commandeer in the first prize pack. I got tw Twist of Spirits up next and another giveaway prize pack. So the prize packs are all coming in the first. They're all coming in the first half of this, of this Boots and Ballad stream. So get ready because, oh man, oh man, we got a lot of fun to have tonight. We got a lot of fun. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, all right. Okay, so the next song is gonna be Twist of Spirits. We got another prize pack giveaway and it's the same stuff again, but a little extra on top of that. So again, a we're gonna do another prize pack giveaway right now with a sticker pack. We got uh, Life is for Taking Chances stickers here, Boots and Ballast stickers and a Twisted X sticker, a Twisted X a patch a Twisted X patch, and 
Twisted X keychain here with the bottle opener on it. A Twisted X, oh man, Twisted X bag. Yo, huge shout out for tw to Twisted X for sending all this stuff so that I can send it to you guys. And a Twisted X water bottle, but plus on top of that, I got a hat here. When I visited Leon, Iowa and Long Creek Outfitters, I visited them and you can get you can get Twisted X boots from Long Creek Outfitters, uh, shoplongcreek.com. So, got this hat up for grabs as well. Great spot, guys. Definitely consider getting your Twisted X boots and shoes from shoplongcreek.com. So, that's what we got up for grabs here in this prize pack giveaway. It's gonna run the same as before, so we're gonna do comment now in the live chat and then every comment after that will be entered to win this and then I will choose the winner after this next song with a random number generator. All right, there we go. Comment now and you will be entered to win. Ooh, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Great to see you guys here. Love you guys so much. I hope you had a good week. I hope you have a good week lined up. Oh man. Yes, Brian, water bottle and hat. It's a cool hat and um, a great store. A really, really great store. So definitely consider checking out Shop Long Creek. They got some great prices there for sure. This is called Twist of Spirits. This is a song that I wrote for my wife um, for our wedding day. Maybe it took too long to get here, but we always knew along the way the end was never hard to see. A turn through the years sees us overcoming fears on summer nights and the rainy days, tying it up from the west down to the east. We continue our own revolutions and make the change that we want to be. With each spin we tie it in so we can go the world's end, tether to each other's souls. We build the threads to support and defend our, all our hopes and dreams. With each spin we tie it in since the first sip of gin, our love only grows. We are a twist of spirits And tonight we take another spin A round wound down In a time of our own Of our own We are a twist of spirits And there is no telling where we can be bound or found As we look back to see how we've already grown How we've already grown Yeah, we grow in the time of our own Finding holes in the standards we've learned And we thread each needle eye we find As we tie the knot and we drift in thought To the point where our spirits stir Rising it up with your hand in mine we can walk out now and find our flaws are gone We are just a better as a one We got strings to build all things to see what tomorrow brings And let the adventure flow You've seen us tread and it's not in our heads Wind at our backs and our faces towards the sun We got strings to build all things Tip our heads back and sing as our love continues to grow We are a twist of spirits and tonight we take another spin a round wound down in a time of our own 
of our own We are its sweetest of spirits And there is no telling where we can be bound Now that we are finally home We are finally home Twist of Spirits. Yes, you can hear that one on my album, Life is for Taking Chances, on Apple Music, Spotify, and everywhere else. We're stopping it right there. I realized about halfway through that I forgot to put up the ticker, so if anybody who just came in is a little confused, sorry about that, but it happens. You should have been here earlier. (laughs) Just joking. I'm happy you're here now. Good to see you guys this morning. Good to see you guys this morning. What the? I don't even know what time it is. I've been been all all across the country um, this past week. It is evening time. I have to remind myself that. (laughs) Great to see you guys. We got 47 folks in here right now, and we're going to find ourselves a winner using this random number generator, and we are going to go from right here and hear some intense music while I count it out. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so intense. Boom. There we go. We got our winner. Yes, indeed. All right. So the winner of the second prize pack with the Long Creek Outfitters hat is Brody Barry. Congrats, Brody. Congrats. The winner of the second, the second prize pack giveaway Yo, congrats, Brody. You get the sticker. You get the patch. The Twisted X patch. The sticker pack. Oh, man. And the keychains with the bottle opener. You get the Long Creek Outfitters hat. I mean, look at this hat. That's a nice hat. And a Twisted X water bottle. Yo. And the Twisted X backpack. Jeez, what a haul, Brody. What a haul. Woo. that's what i'm talking about congrats congrats oh it's great to see you guys this morning i did it again (laughs) oh man oh man there's something wrong with me there's something wrong with me (laughs) you guys already knew that though oh i'm so excited for this evening for this evening's giveaway and we are getting closer and closer with each and every song oh man Nina's upset do not worry Nina I have one more prize pack giveaway here before we get into the boot segment that I got planned yeah you guys voted on your thoughts in sustainability in the cowboy boot industry. I'm gonna share your thoughts and I also recorded the thoughts of several employees and store owners while I was on the road last week with Hondo Boots. We went all around Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, and hit Minnesota real quick, visiting Western stores. And in some of those Western stores that sold Twisted X boots and shoes, I got the opinion of those folks as well because they are there and many of them were wearing Twisted X boots and shoes when I visited. So it's going to be really interesting uh, for us to talk about that. But first we need one more song and one more prize pack giveaway. Am I drinking coffee, Carol? No. I'm drinking some chamomile tea, if that's how you say it, or mile. I never, I don't know how to say it. With some honey in it. I just got back from the trip this morning so like i was busting my ass trying to get this live stream all set and i think i think i i think i did it (laughs) except for that pre-stream you guys just saw the picture i i couldn't get the video for the pre-stream together so it just ended up being the picture but hey sometimes that's what happens yo 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 (laughs) <laughs> Yo, good to see you, Lionel, with Cowboy Boots, Hass, and Western Life Enthusiast. Good to see you, good to see you. All right, we got one more prize pack here uh, with all the same stuff. We're going to do another prize pack, another song, and then we're going to get into today's segment this evening on this Boots and Ballads live stream. All right, so another 
Let's go through it. Another sticker pack, guys. Another sticker pack. Another patch. Let's go. Another keychain with a bottle opener on it. There you go. Twisted X all day long. Twi Twisted X water bottle. A Twisted X Ugh. backpack. Yes, the last one of these. And I got another hat from Pico uh, P no, no. It's from Long Creek Outfitters. That's right, that's right. It's Long Creek Outfitters, and check out this one. That's cool, that's their logo, Long L Creek. I love their brand. It's, it's a good, it's a good, good brand, and this is a nice hat. It's a nice hat. They gave me this one, too, but I decided to keep this one because it's neon, and I like it, okay? I didn't have any neon hats, um, but they did give me a bunch of hats. Uh, my mom got one, and then we got these ones as well for the giveaway. Please consider getting your Twisted X boots and shoes from ShopLongCreek.com. All right, all right. You guys know how this goes. I'm going to put comment now in the live chat, and all the comments after that will be entered to win. Please do not spam. And then at the end of the song, I'm going to click stop, and we're going to find our winner of this final prize pack this evening and uh, with a random number generator. So, bam, here we go. Comment now. Let's go, let's go. And I'm going to put up the ticker. I'm not going to forget this time. The giveaway ticker. There we go. All right. So I got a bunch of love songs. I'm kicking this off with a bunch of love songs, huh? Because right now I'm going to play a Cheshire Shows. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. So I'm hoping you guys are digging all the love songs this autumn Sunday evening or afternoon if you are on the West Coast. So here is a Cheshire Shows. I heard the rusty gate swinging through the cracked window let you climb right in Homeroom thoughts in the morning Carry through Now it starts with the first button Lay down, lay down With no company between us We don't have much time Heels on the stairs And there's creaks in the trucks Ooh, Grab your clothes And wait in here Till I return Only in first throws He just his shoes And I'll make him turn So we can be alone Tell me where we were I don't remember how to throw it out It starts with our love And we are free now To build it up Lay down, lay down With no company between us Shining through the first time Steps on the stairs And there's creaks in the truss Ooh, Grab your clothes 
hopes and waiting here till I return. Only in first throws, it just shows, and I make her turn so we can be alone. This a love, this a love, this invincible love. We crash together, no mold for our throats. Take for the dawning of our love. Now you must turn like a Cheshire shows. Yeah. That is a Cheshire Shows. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to stop the comments right there and pick our winner. You can hear that song on my album, Life is for Taking Chances on Apple Music, Spotify, and everywhere else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's find our winner right now. We got 53 folks in here. Thank you so much for joining me. Guys, you are the best. Seriously, appreciate you guys spending your Sunday evening with me. Yo, all right. We got a big number that just came through, so let me count it out here with some intense music. Just bear with me for a second. Boom, there it is. All right, our winner here is D Og. D Og is our winner. Yes, congrats, D Og. Yo, you get the hat, the Long Creek Outfitters hat. Yes, from Leon, Iowa. Shop longcreek.com to get your Twisted X boots and shoes, Twisted X bag, Twisted X. <laughs> Water bottle, yeah. And a keychain with the bottle opener on it. Yo, and of course a sticker pack and a Twisted X patch. Congrats, d -Og. Congrats, congrats. Yes. Boom. All right, I want the winners to email me here. I'm going to put it in the live chat, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Boom. Winners, email me and I will get your prizes out. Yo, cheers, cheers, cheers. Let's go. All right. It's so great to see you guys this evening. I did it right that time. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. So let me show you guys. Oops, that intense music's still going. Sorry about that. All right. So let me show you guys the program. So we are halfway through. We got the live segment here where we're going to talk about sustainability and cowboy boots and then we got some more music coming in at the second half when i will announce the winners of the two pairs of boots up for grabs this evening the women's pair olivia bennett and the men's pair of twisted x tech x boots yes indeed Woo! are you guys ready i am i'm so ready so let's jump right into this segment Yo, 10 seconds behind. Yeah, there's a 10 second lag. There is a 10 second lag in the live streams uh, and the comments, the live chat. That's just what, that's just how it is. <laughs> that's just how the internet works, I guess. <laughs> Yo, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna do this segment here. This is a live video segment if you're new to Boots and Ballads where I do a video here live with you guys and today we're going to be talking about the importance of sustainability in the cowboy boot industry. You see Twisted X has been on a journey of sustainability and eco-friendly methods in making boots and shoes since 2012. So today I want to discuss the opinions around this topic and how important it is for the industry altogether. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? This is how it goes. All right, so this segment 
is also sponsored by Twisted X. They are leaders in the Western wear industry in creating sustainable and eco-friendly methods to making boots and shoes. And I find it a really interesting topic that I wanted to explore. Huge thanks to Twisted X for making this segment possible. There's so much that's possible here, and I love it. All right, all right. So let's talk about some of the technologies that Twisted X has that they've been working with here just to lay the groundworks before we go on to your opinions and the opinions of the store owners and then finally uh, my thoughts on it all together. So some of the technologies that are developed or helped create uh, boots with and shoes with by Twisted X, Eco Twix. The Eco Twix. This is their fabric that's made from plastic bottles collected, actually collected from landfills or the ocean. So they're actually cleaning up these areas and then making fabric with it. And that's awesome. Another one is the leather Twix. All right. So this is upcycled leather that would otherwise go to landfills. And then they mix it with some other fibers and get their leather Twix. That's what is on the tops of the Olivia Bennett's. So that's what this is, the leather Twix. And that is what is also used in this Twisted X2 all around. So all of the leather on this boot is leather Twix. And it's been holding up really well. So the leather Twix is definitely no joke. Another technology that they have is their Blend 85, where they're using 85% recycled foam for their insoles. And you can kind of see that here in the speckles and the mixed fibers, mixed different foams. So they're using 85% recycled, upcycled foam for their Blend 85 insoles and then also they have this molasses EVA midsole and you can see that here on this Twisted X which is this part of the boot that goes all the way up so they combine traditional ethyl vinyl acetate to divert waste from the landfills they combine it with their molasses EVA so it's a pretty cool uh, feature and a lot of people like it just because it's comfortable I think I think the people who like it don't even know about the molasses EV. They're just like, it's a it's a comfortable midsole. And then another one, the final one that we'll talk about, but it's not the last one. It's just, I just picked five that had to do with this segment is the rice husk outsole. So they're using rice husks in the outsole here and you can kind of see it. Then I also kind of have a little dirty uh, outsole because I've been using them but they integrate rice husks into their rubber outsoles so that they use less rubber overall. And that's a good thing because as you'll see in this segment, a lot of rubber ends up in the landfills. So uh, let's talk about what your vote was on the importance of sustainability and eco-friendly methods in the cowboy boot industry. So here are your votes. So how important is sustainability in modern made cowboy boots? And around 16% of you said it's very important. You won't purchase boots at all unless they are sustainably made. And I respect that. And then 41% of you said, you know, it's a little important. I prefer sustainab sustainably made boots, but you would purchase other boots too. That's cool. I respect that. And then 37% of you said, you know, it's not that important. I think it's cool that some companies are being sustainable, but if it doesn't really affect my purchases. And then finally, a small sliver of you, around 5%, said it's not important at all. I don't care either way. I just want comfortable, well-made boots. And I respect that too. All these answers I respect out of 247 of you. Uh, thank you for filling out that poll. I really appreciate it. It helped me kind of put my thoughts together around this as well. And so did the thoughts of the folks that I visited at the stores across the Midwest. So let's first stop at Long Creek Outfitters. Yeah, you guys know Long Creek Outfitters in Leon, Iowa, where owner Mark shared his thoughts on sustainability in the cowboy boot industry. I think our customers are... Oh, I should say, 
I should say, you were like, what the, what is with that wood structure? I forgot to tell you that Mark didn't want to be recorded with video, so he had me take a picture of, <laughs> he had me take a picture of a wooden statue that has his name on it in the store. So that's the story. So that is Mark um, at Long Creek. <laughs> and that's the story behind that. So here's Mark from Long Creek's thoughts. I think our customers are just want a good made product. And I think it's, if you can do something, you know, for the, what do you want to call it? The uh, earth. The earth along with it, that's fine. But they, the more important, they want a good quality boots, mm -hmm. what they want. Most of them have been wearing it their whole life. So yeah. they know what boots are. And their kids, they come in by kids' boots and they grow up with it. So, I mean, quality, I think, is uh, the most important. All right. Thank you, Mark, for sharing your thoughts. You know, uh, he thinks it's great that companies want to do good for the earth, but well-made boots become before anything. Well-made boots come before anything else, and that's what all of you guys thought, or many of you, that's what many of you guys thought as well. Uh, so, huge thanks to Mark. Consider getting your Twisted X boots and shoes from shoplongcreek.com. All right. So, the next little stop on our road trip across the Midwest, uh, asking folks about Twisted X and their sustainability eco-friendliness, we're going to go to Nebraska and Young's Western Wear, where Darren shared his thoughts. And you can get Twisted X boots and shoes from Young's at DiscountWesternWear.com. Okay, my name is Darren Boots. I work here at Young's Western Wear, Valentine, Nebraska. Uh, as you can see, we got a lot of boots. Uh, lots changed in cowboy boots. Like you said, sustainability, eco-friendly, uh, what, what boots are made out of. You don't know, comfort. Comfort's a big thing in cowboy boots. You know, like the Twisted X is now with the cell stretch. You know, the more comfort in the boot, the easier it is to wear, the longer a guy can wear them. They're going to come back and buy more. Yes. Comfort is so important, guys. And that's something that Twisted X is able to achieve with all of these upcycle materials, which is pretty impressive, actually, when you think about it. Now, let's head to South Dakota, where Michelle at Cowboys 2 shares her thoughts. Hi, it's Michelle from Cowboys 2 here in Belfouche, South Dakota, and we're talking a little bit about um, Twisted X boots and shoes. Um, I love them. I think the number one thing that I like and that I think is a part of the sustainability of the product is the boots wear just the same as the shoes. If you put on a boot and you don't know you're actually putting on a boot, you would might think it would be a shoe. I have boots and I have shoes by Twisted X, and they feel exactly the same and that is one thing that I think that is great is that if you're riding and you get off the horse or the bull or the bronc um, you might not just slip on a pair of shoes because they feel the same um, my number one favorite I hope they never get rid of these shoes I'm actually wearing them right now this actually was one of the first ones that came out from the eco twix line um, this comes in men and women but one pair of these equals 13 bottles taken out of the ocean or out of the landfill which is great one of the zeros um, that we carry is this little guy right here this comes in men and women's as well and we have loved these the other great thing is is that each one of these stitches is individual um, so it's a glueless shoe so it's less toxic and for some reason the first shipment that we got when you smell them they kind of smell like roses so that's a great plus too so I don't know what they do to them but anyway so yeah we really love Twisted X it's definitely a brand that we carry a lot of in the store for men women and children yes huge thanks to Michelle I love how the glueless product smells like roses that's hilarious remember you guys can get twisted x boot and shoes from them at cowboys2.com yo carlos thank you so much for the super chat tip i really appreciate it you're the best buddy thank you thank you thank you all right finally let's head to minnesota where paul shares his thoughts at pleasant hill western experience i'm paul with pleasant hills the western experience 
and you ask me my opinion on the eco-friendly boots. I, I think it's important environmentally for all of us to have a product that uh, puts less stress on the environment, whether it be recycled materials, uh, natural materials, um, you know, a little less glue uh, and a little less uh, material in the landfill goes a long way. So I, I'm a fan of them. I, I also have to say um, leather in a boot is a natural thing and there's nothing that matches a boot better than leather. You got to remember that cowboy that's wearing that boot is probably raising that cow that's producing the leather. So it all kind of comes full circle that way too. So don't forget about a good leather boot. I loved Paul's answer and it pretty much, you know, summarizes my whole thoughts about the thing too. You know, you can get Twisted X products from him at phsaddle.com. Huge thanks to all of the stores who shared their thoughts with me for this segment. Uh, they took time out of their day and that really means a lot. You know, Paul made a great point at the end of his little segment there. In, in, the, in America, the cattle industry is very cyclical and sustainable, especially when it comes to U.S. made boots using raw materials from the U.S. The only thing is, is that not everybody can afford U.S. made boots with all U.S. made materials. And the Great Plains of the American West, I was just out there last week, is set up perfectly for raising cattle in a way that's friendly to the land and to the animals. But not all places are the same, right? So here's some stats that I found from textileexchange.org. So as you can see here, China is number one and the United States is between China and the United China and Brazil. Excuse me. So the United States splits China and Brazil in the top three, right? So you can also see here that in 2020, 86 million tons of cattle leather was produced, uh, which is crazy. And as you can imagine, with this much leather being produced and the cattle, you know, for food as well, leather being a byproduct of the food industry, deforestation can be a major problem, right? Maybe not in the West of the United States, right? Because it's all plains, like it's all grassland anyways. And China has a lot of grasslands and plains like America as well. But in Brazil, many claim that, you know, the Amazon rainforest is being cleared for more land to raise cattle, which is obviously not ideal. And land is cleared uh, for livestock here in America too, especially up here in the Northeast. You know, I've seen the forests around the house where I grew up dwindle and dwindle and dwindle for more corn, more soy, you know, uh, so that we can have corn. We can, there can be like uh, fuel additives and also for feed for cattle as well. So, you know, deforestation is a major problem. So uh, upcycling leather when possible is a great step, right? It's a great step to lower the amount of total cattle needed for leather products worldwide, like that leather Twix, right? That Twisted X is using. So uh, they're making steps so that less leather has to be used overall. Of course, it's just a small step. It's just a small percentage right now. But not only that, in 2018, the EPA reported that lands, landfills received 5 million tons of rubber and leather, which is a lot. So now you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of rubber. So the rice husk integration in Twisted X's rubber outsole, maybe that's starting to make a little bit more sense to us all here, right? Now I love traditionally made boots. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But I also think that it is a great thing for companies like Twisted X to take these steps for the future, right? They're paving the way for the Western wear industry with these little implementations into their boots, their little experiments, right? So in my opinion, these advances in materials not only help our planet now, but it will help it in the future as well. So I'm gonna take us way out of the box here. I'm gonna take us way into never ever land, never never land, you know? because these materials that Twisted X is working with right now could help us upcycle existing materials 
on missions to Mars and to deep space. I, I took us there. I took us there. <laughs> because there will be no cattle to domesticate on Mars. So we'll have to figure out how to use and reuse what we already have, right? And if you need new space boots or maybe a new space chair, like who knows what is gonna be possible with these things in the future. Uh, maybe it will be possible to have them replicated thanks to this technology that Twisted X and others are developing and experimenting with right now. So overall, I think it's really, really important that Twisted X is making these steps now and for the future. And I'm glad they're doing it uh, for us all. And I hope other budget brand companies like Ariat, Durango, Laredo, and more follow in Twisted X's footsteps. But I want to know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think after all this. You know, is it too far ahead thinking that some of these leather Twixes, some of this Eco Tweed, you know, all of this Blend 85, who knows? It could be used in space missions, right? I mean, Tang? <laughs> Tang is an orange drink, right? That was used first in space. Maybe Twisted X is getting ahead of the game so that when we go to space, <laughs> they are thought of uh, for upcycling materials when materials are so scarce. Those are my thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed that little segment. What do you guys think? <clears throat> yes, indeed. Gotta love beef. Gotta love it. And leather is a byproduct, but are there better ways to do it? Interesting, interesting thing to think about. All right, I'm going through your comments right here. Got some Twisted X fans in the house. Yeah, that's what I love. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yo, Nina's all in for Eco. Does Amazon sell Twisted X boots? Yeah, they sell Twisted X boots. I've seen them on Amazon, but I would highly recommend that you go with one of the stores that you guys saw here today. They spent time with me. These guys are awesome. It's always, it's always, always better to shop small than to go on Amazon and get boots or, you know, whatever. Um, if you can get it from a store like Twisted X, Tech X, boots, shoes, try to get it from the store first. So go to shoplongcreek.com, go to Cowboy Boots 2 or Cowboy 2. Dot com, excuse me, cowboys2.com, go to uh, PH Saddle, go to discountwesternwear.com. See if they got what you need before you go to Amazon. Will they act like full leather? Carol asks. That's the goal, right? Hopefully we get there at some point, but we're not going to get there until we make those little steps. And Twisted X is making those little steps. And I love to see it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for sticking with me tonight. I really appreciate you. And huge shout out to Twisted X for making this possible. I really like what they're doing. And I really believe that Paul from Pleasant Hill really summed it up in the best way possible. There's nothing like a full leather boot, right? But... It is really cool to see companies stepping out and trying to do something different and that's good for the earth. Mark Somerville says he thinks it's a revolutionary concept and might change the way we view the way we produce all kinds of clothing. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. Who knows what'll happen with these with these materials? I think the the possibilities are endless. Hmm. Let's get eco-friendly, son. For right now and what's to come, let's protect what we got left. Oh, 
Since this earth's the only one yeah. Since this earth's the only one Yes. <laughs> right? That space route. That space route. Haven't thought of the space route. Eric Bell says, it's. It, I don't usually think of it either, but then it's like, but what if, right? Because a lot of the advances in tires came from space race. A lot of the advances in food came from space race a lot of the advances and other types of technology that we had came from space race so it kind of seems like we're on the verge of another space race maybe a privatized space race and maybe some of the technology that twisted x is playing with experimenting with goes a long way in how we reuse and upcycle the materials we have when we're up there in different planets or in deep space. It's fun to think about. It's fun to think about. Hey, Ethan, my guitar is a Martin DCX-1E. It's a Martin. What brand makes the best guitar? I think it depends on what sound you're going for, right? I mean, Gretsch makes awesome ones. Gibson makes awesome ones. Siegel makes awesome ones. Martin makes awesome ones. And they all sound just a little bit different. So I think it just depends on what sound you're going for. <clears throat> Personally, I like the sound. I like the rich sound of Martin's. Can I provide those boot store names in the chat? Sure. Let me just put the, let me try to put the links in the chat here. Shoplongcreek.com. Uh, discount. I hope I'm spelling it right. <laughs> westernwear.com all right what was the other one cowboys2.com and the other one was phsaddle.com look at that i remembered them all i don't remember what time of day it is but i remember all of the urls to the stores that i visited <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. We got some more songs to play. I got another song here, and then we're going to get into our first boot giveaway winner. Yeah. All right, so this song right here. Let me show you guys the program, the rest of the program this evening. So we just finished up our sustainability and cowboy boots segment. I got some more music here for you, and we're just about to announce our first Boots winner of the evening, the winner of the Olivia Bennett Texas Rose Boots, Yellow Texas Rose, and I am so excited to get into that, but we got one more song, and it's called I Grew Up on Game. Yeah, it's about hunting season here in many places. In some places, it's already started, so I figured this one would be an appropriate one since we're in fall and it's hunting season. Hey, Phil, how's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. Long time no see, Phil. Phil of Hondo Boots. Just ended up, uh, just spent a whole week with Phil on the road visiting those places. So you guys will see a lot more videos at those stores and many more coming up here on the channel starting this week. So I'm really excited to share that experience with you. Oh, yes. All right, all right. So here is a song. It's called I Grew Up on Game. I grew up on game, and it's never been the same. Ever since I quit my wild ways From where we all came Remembering our place Growing up on game Close your eyes Slip back time And all you feel is a loving sight 
grew up on game But I always played it safe Never messed with daddy's marinade When the night's a dangerous state There's always an extra plate For a passing stranger at the gate I grew up on game Certs and you will find that all you feel is a love inside. I grew up on game and I know I'll never change. I can't quit my wild ways. From where we all came, remembering our place, growing up on game. Yeah. There we go. I grew up on game. You can hear that one on my album, In Vacant Dates and Intentions, on your favorite streaming platform. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Wolf Ranger, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you guys. Yes. Hey, Gal. Yo, reeling them in fishing. Oh, the giveaway just went on for two weeks. You just missed it. I needed everybody, everybody to enter ahead of time, so I had all of the information. But don't worry, because there's another one coming up in a couple of weeks. That's right, I got one for every month the rest of this year, and it's going to be so exciting. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, so we're going to find our first winner here. And it's going to be the women's first. So we're going to find our women's winter winner here. And let me pull up my little browser. All right, all right. So here are the ladies who entered the giveaway. So as you can see, we have very few women. So the women who entered... You guys have a great chance. You guys have a better chance than the men at winning the Olivia Bennett boots. That's why I was like, I was telling everybody, you ladies, you guys got a big chance because, of course, only about 10% of my channel are you lovely ladies out there. So, you guys got a good chance here. And two ladies were a part of the Boots and Ballads Vault where you can get extra entries. If you want to be a part of the Boots and Ballads Vault, head on over to my store, jeremiahcraig.com slash store, and hit on that vault access link when you scan that code that comes with your products that are on like this mug here that's made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. You can see videos early. Uh, you can enter to win small giveaways there. And you can trade your one entry for seven, and it gives you a significant advantage to win, um, especially when... Uh, only a few folks enter. So, let's find our winner right here. We're going to start up at the top here with Nina at number two and then finish at number 31. So, let's go over to our random number generator here. So, we got to do two random number t between two and 31. All right, here we go. Generate. We got the number five is our winner and number five is... Carl Wagner, actually, who entered maybe to win a pair of boots for his or her wife. Or maybe it's a girl named Carl. Congrats, Carl! Carl Wagner wins! Yes! Wins the women's boots! Let's go! Wins the women's boots! Congrats, Carl! And for anyone who... Carl's daughter, wife, sister, congrats, Carl. Yes, congrats. All right, we have our winner. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Congrats, Carl. Winning some boots for a lady 
a special lady in his wife life. Hey, there was two choices. What do you want to enter? You want to enter the women's giveaway or you want to enter the men's giveaway? There were two choices. And he wanted to enter the, the women's giveaway and more power to him. <clears throat> that was where the rules. Those were the rules. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. I got another song for you guys here before we pick our men's winner. Congratulations, Carl. <sighs> Congrats, Carl. All right, we got a little banjo action here. Banjo and harmonica action. I'm gonna play this song. This is a song about, this is a song about a dream that I had once. <clears throat> this is a song about a dream that I had once. It's about a song that I had. Um, my dad and I were making, uh, it's a, this is in the dream. My dad and I were making moonshine and we had to go down to this marsh area to, to p get the water. Cause everybody knew in my dream that that was the place to get the best water for moonshine. The only problem was, is that it was protected by this like Jeepers Creepers type animal right or jeepers creeper type monster so if you went down there by yourself or with a friend it would kill their your, your you or your friend or both of you right but if you went down there with somebody who you were blood related with it wouldn't bother you at all so i wrote a song about it and with it almost coming up here on october i figured why not throw in some halloween songs at the end here this is called stay with the ones you love truck down there in the heat of the day you'll find nobody has a question to ask mm. yeah the house is bowled up the lines are down and the roads are just a mowed down grass well there's only one reason why you would make this trip it's that the marsh waters make the best shine mm. but there's a wretched winged evil local and he's only got blood on his mind yeah so when it come time to pick your company well you best not pick your friends no and you best not go alone or you'll be sure to find an end you must keep your head and stay with your Stay alive is to stay with the ones you love. Mm. Now don't you waste no time. Dip that bucket down and fill it till it overflows. Stay close to each other with your eyes on the trees and make sure no one is left alone. Walking up through the greenery You might find someone not as lucky as you Caught in the shadow of a wretched local With no loved ones to accompany him through mm. So when it come time to pick your company Well, you best not pick your friends mm. And you best not go alone Or you'll be sure to find an end You must keep your head And stay with your blood Yeah, the only way to stay alive Is to stay with the ones you love Hey, the only way to stay alive Is to stay with the ones you love Stay with the ones you love. Ha! Yeah, buddy. Let's go. You can hear that one on my album. 
Lost Keys in Lounge, Strange. So if you guys are looking for some creepy Halloween music, you gotta check that out. Lost Keys in Lounge, Strange. I did it with my buddy Jake Boucher when we, when me and Brenna were living in Arizona. Yes. All right, all right. Oh man, oh man, you guys are talking about venison patties in here? Ooh, sign me up, let's go. I'm all for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Split630. I appreciate it. Thank you, Primaz. Yo, Eric, I appreciate it. All right, all right. Let's get our men's Twisted X winner for this evening. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it. I'm glad you are digging the music this evening. Whew. All right, all right. So let's head on over here to... The next winner. All right. So, as we can see here, many more men entered the giveaway, which I am not surprised about at all, given that 90% or more than 90% are men who watch my channel. And it makes sense because I can I can only try men's boots. So, <laughs> so it just makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying my best, though, to uh, get some more ladies content on the channel. And uh, the, the next giveaway is a ladies-only giveaway. So get ready for that. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great giveaway. But for right now, we got a bunch of folks in here. We're going to start with number two at um, with Primaz here. And, of course, you will see some people have more than one entry because they are part of the Boots and Ballads vault. And if you guys want access to the Boots and Ballads vault, head on over to my store where you can get products like this metal mug from Twisted Willow Fabrication. Uh, so it's a small business right here in the U.S. run by my parents, and they make some awesome products. And if you guys want uh, vault access, head on over to jeremiahcraig.com store and click that vault access link and when you get something from there, it'll have a code, and you can scan that code and get extra entries into the giveaway. So we're going to start with number two, and we're going to end off with number uh, 236. All right, so we already have number two there. We're going to go two. Nope, nope. We're going to go 236. That looks right. All right, here we go. We're going to generate our winner right now. Boom. Our winner is going to be on column Two, two, four. So, who do we have on two, two, four? Two, two, four is right here. Linda. Linda Andrade. Linda Andrade. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Linda Andrade wins <laughs> the men's boots giveaway. <laughs> Linda Andrade wins the men's boots giveaway. <laughs> and Carl won the women's boots giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That is the best. Congrats, Linda. Congrats, Carl. We got our two winners. <laughs> we got our two winners. Oh, I could it couldn't have been set up any better. It could have been set up any better than that. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Congrats, Linda. Congrats, Carl. Those are our two twisted X winners. Oh, for this giveaway and that finishes it out guys oh man <laughs> oh i'll check with each one of you with carl and linda to see if they really wanted to be in the category that they entered <laughs> and maybe they'll just trade boots oh man i got it you gotta love it that <laughs> i did not expect that to happen <laughs> Maybe Linda just wanted the pair of boots for her wife or for her, maybe for her wife or for her husband or for her son. Oh man, I'm glad you get a kick out of it. <laughs> Roberto's confused too. <laughs> Adrian's confused. Everybody's like, what is going on? I did not expect that to happen. Only on Boots and Ballads does this happen. This stuff only happens live. <laughs> I'm not making this up, guys. You saw it. You were here. You saw. <laughs> oh, it equaled out well, Carl, didn't it? <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't make this up. It only happens live. 
<laughs> Maybe they're single, single and should message each other. Oh, yes, a love story. The love story of Boots and Ballads. <laughs> Oh, Jim, that's such a great, such a great point. I hope that happens. <laughs> did I definitely did not switch the list. I categorized it. I'm not going to share the other columns because then that would go against the uh, information sharing that, uh, that, <laughs> that I already set up in the giveaway form. I said I'm not going to share the information with anybody, so I can't I can't share the other columns, but I guarantee you that I separated it out. I put the columns as the women's boots and the men's boots. So, hey, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's only happens live. <laughs> it only happens live. Congrats Carl and congrats to Linda. <laughs> Oh, you guys are the best. All right, I got one more song here for you. Thank you all for joining me this evening. I'm going to close this out with another Halloween song. Uh, get you ready for the autumn season here. And uh, then it's only a couple of weeks before the next giveaway, and that is going to be an all-women's giveaway. So it's going to be a pair of Black Star boots. Uh, and wait till you guys see them. Breno loves them. Can't wait to share it with you. Black Star is a made in Mexico company. It's actually owned by Twisted X, but it's a completely different, completely different company that uses some of the insoles. But the boots are completely, completely different. So it'll be a fun giveaway, an all ladies boot giveaway. But until then, I'm gonna leave you with this song, which is called The Ghost That Ghosts Fear the Most. This is about um, a guy who dies and becomes a ghost but he died in a really strange way that gives him power over the other ghosts over the average ghost let's say so uh, that's why the ghosts fear him when i finally came to I was far from the wreck of the grove. I was at the crematorium with the man running the stove. Well, I reached out to grab the man whose work kept him so trim. But when my hand met his shoulder, well, I just passed right through him. Then I noticed the guest list as I began to turn and the ring in the dust where they had placed the urn. It had finally happened as I finally met my end. Doomed to walk the earth until time started up again. Yeah. So I made my way home to give one last goodbye When I heard a cry of terror from the old Stanley place walking by Now they say that place is haunted and they say it kinda soft Careful so the spirits they don't move from loft to loft Seeing that I could go unnoticed, I thought I would check in Since those old Stanley folks had been as close as kin But when I walked in I could not believe what I had saw Two specters had Miss Stanley frightened and huddled against the wall mm. They were two spirits of thieves who died in jail and buried in a cemetery when winter's air got stale. They looked at me in amazement when I told them to get lost or they would be sorry that our paths had ever crossed. They both laughed aloud and said ghosts can't do each other harm and to prove it one walked up and stuck his hand right through my arm. It was then I threw a punch just to double check his test and my fist had landed hard against his face as if it was still flesh. Then the other attacked but it was all in vain, and soon they were scared off from the beating I had laid. And I started to wonder why I was so differently made. And I realized they were buried and I was released by the flame. Ha. So there must be something special about a fire after death instead of wasting good space for an eternity's rest. So if you're some lowly dirt muncher haunting those who can't offend, know that I'm the ghost, ghosts fear the most, and you best not test that trend. Ha! <laughs> that 
that's the ghost that ghosts fear the most. You can hear that one on my album, Lost Keys in Lounge Strange, that I recorded with my buddy Jake Boucher down in Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Let's go. Yes. Oh, Jim's staying up late with that Anchorhead coffee. Yo, Anchorhead coffee. Yes, that's the good stuff. You can get Anchorhead coffee for 10% off when you use my code Jeremiah Craig at check checkout. Thank you, Jim Collins. <laughs> yes, it's sort of like that that Charlie Daniels style, isn't it, Roberto? Oh man, you guys are the best. Love you so much. Thank you for joining me here on the Boots and Ballads Twisted X Men's and Women's Giveaway. Huge. Huge congrats to all of the winners tonight, both of the prize packs that you can only win here live, and to the two winners, Linda and Carl, for the two boots. Oh, Carl won the women's boots, and <laughs> Linda won the men's boots, and I got to check up with them to see if those were actually the one. Maybe they missed that entry question there. <laughs> on the form and we'll see what happens i'll let you guys know i'll let you guys know i love you so much and if you want to stick around and chat for a little bit we'll have the after party right now and it'll be just be like a fun little thing but if you want to get to bed and get ready for the work week here because it is sunday and we got lots to get to this week then uh thank you so much for joining me for this part and this Boots and Ballads uh, with Twisted X. Shout out again to Twisted X for making, making it possible. And I will see you guys around. All right, guys. It's after party time. It's after party time. This is the part of the stream where I just sort of hand it over to you guys. What do you guys want to talk about? You guys want to talk about Boots some more? You guys want to hear some more music? You let me know what you want and we'll take it in that direction. Yes. Yo. Phil loves the after party. He says this is the good part. He says this is the good part. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is the boot entry the same as the other prizes? No. So, um, so the boot entry, Diog, went on for two weeks. Uh, and I usually attach it to a video. So I'll do a video. And then at two weeks... Following the posting of that video will be an entering for a giveaway. So you watch the video, you click the form, you enter the giveaway, and then at the end of two weeks, I close the giveaway, and then I announce the winner of the boots on the live stream. But then on the live stream as well, because you don't have to be on the live stream to win the boots. You just, you don't. I know people have lives, and I don't want that to keep them from winning boots. Maybe in the future. Um, we can do something like that, but, uh, at this point, I just want to make sure that I'm getting boots on people's feet. Uh, and for those of you who do join me, I want to, you know, thank you by doing prize packages live. So the prize packages you win through the, the live chat and the boots you win through a form that is up for two weeks ahead of time. So that's how it works. <clears throat> Red Bull. Now that I've done my second trip with Phil, how many states have I visited boot sellers in? Oh, I haven't, I don't know about boot stores, how many states I've done boot stores in. That one's tough. I'll have to count. I'll have to count the boot stores in states, but I can tell you that I've visited 42 states. None of them on this trip have been new, um, but I, like, I still have seven more, um, and my mom was asking me, last night how many states do i have left and i haven't gone i haven't been to delaware yet i haven't been to alabama or mississippi yet i haven't been to i haven't been to um michigan yet i haven't been to kansas strangely enough i've just done this around kansas <laughs> and of course i haven't been to hawaii and alaska either so uh seven states left um, but I don't know how many boot stores I've been to in those states. I'll have to, I'll have to count them up. I have to count them up. Uh, thank you, d -Og. Thank you, thank you. You'll get in next time. The next giveaway. The next giveaway is a pair of, um, it's the, if you guys want to look it up right now, it's the Canyon Boot by Blackstar. 
canyon. It's really pretty. It's like it's it's an orange or canyon color, but it's orange. It's got overlay, black and white overlay on the toe. It just looks so, so cool. And it's a perfect one to do here in October. So it's a women's boot. So it's just going to be a women's giveaway. You guys can enter. If the guys want to enter and win for a special lady in their life, they can. And then the ladies, you can enter just to get the boots yourself. Uh, but guys, it's a really, really pretty boot. And Brenna loves it. Brenna loves it. 42 out of 50. I'm almost there. I want to do all 50 in my life. I'm going to do all 50. Let's go. I've been to North Carolina, Jim. Love it. I haven't been to Hawaii yet. Black Star Women's. Not the Wimberley ones. The Canyon ones, gal. Look it up. The Canyon ones. <clears throat> Next, 711. Yay, women's boots. Let's go. What is my favorite boot? Not the Grail, but the one that I own. I got to go with... I got to go with the Boulet... 7031 just because it's the first boot it's the first boot i owned so this is still my favorite boot when i put this one on it's like oh wow because i'm breaking in boots all the time like all i feel like i do these days is breaking boots and then i put on this one and it's 15 years old and it's like a boot that i wore every single day of the week throughout college and through my first jobs you know and it is so broken in. It feels so nice. It feels the best. So this is my favorite boot, Boulet 7031. It's discontinued now. The closest boot that you can get to this from Boulet is the Boulet 7032. <clears throat> That's my favorite boot. You want that one, Gail? Oh, the Canyon you want. Yeah, it's like this color. It's like this color of the Cowboys 2 hat. It's kind of like this color. Cowboys 2. They were here they were featured in today's segment. Michelle, I bought that hat when I was there. I really wanted to get the shirt that says Belle Fouche on it, but they were sold out. No, I got I'm not 30. I got them 15 years ago. Um when I was 17, 17, 16 or 17, maybe 16 years ago now. Um I'm getting old. I'm getting old, gal. <clears throat> First boot, it's always the first love. Like a glove, Roberto, yeah. His boots should be in a museum. Maybe after they can't be repaired. I'm still wearing them, Diego. <laughs> I'm still wearing them. Let's go. Your, your first boot was a Stuart. Bought in 1992, and you still wear them weekly. Oh, Nina's all about those Black Star boots. You just looked them up, right? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's the next giveaway. Yeah, courtesy of Twisted X. Courtesy of Twisted X, because uh, Black Star is owned by Twisted X. Perfect for October, Nick. Totally, right? Oh, you're going to sell your Nakona Bull Heights because they're too, too snug? I hope you find another one. Yeah, go ahead, ask me whatever you want about sizing. Do I ever get flustered with the amount of boots in the house? No, I mainly get flustered... I mainly get flustered about how trying to keep up with uh, making content, flustered about the live streams. Um, is I was especially flustered today because I just got back and I needed to pre prep the live stream still. Usually I do that during the week of a live stream, but it just so happened that I was going to go on the road with Phil um, this past week. So I got back this morning and I prepped for the live stream i was working on the live stream while i was you know traveling but a man can only do so much right <laughs> and and plus the computer that i was traveling with is a little bit older because it's just a laptop and not this really nice setup that i have here so i was i'm mainly flustered i mainly get flustered around content producing content and making sure that everything's good for you guys so i hope tonight was uh was good because uh it definitely Definitely tried my best to make it all work out for you guys. I hope you guys liked it. <clears throat> Does my wife ever get flustered with the amount of boots in the house? No, not really. I don't think so. Um, not yet, anyways. She does say that I have a lot of boots, but she has a lot of boots, too. So we're just kind of a boots and shoes kind of guy and girl. Does Twisted X run big or small? I think they run... Mm, it's tough to compare it. I think they run... A little, a little small. Um, they're 11. Kind of fits like a 10 and a half D of a lot of other, uh, of a lot of other boots. 
um, at least the men's ones. If you're talking about women's boots, my wife had to size down. Um, so that's a six over here. That's a size six. And uh, she usually wears a size six and a half. Yeah, mainly getting flustered about running the business. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yo, Monica. Just draw the name on those boots and bring them to Kansas. Then that state will be taken care of. Ha! I love it. That sounds fun. <laughs> Let's go to Kansas. <laughs> oh, I'm, thanks, Mr. Real Media. I'm glad you liked it. So those Nikonas were a nine and a half D, and the width is perfect, but they're a little short in length. And you think ten would be good, but the but too wide. Should you go for a ten B or a ten and a half B? You know, sure if it's be too narrow. Um, that's a good question. Um, I would. I always want to. I always say that you should size up in the same width before you try to, um, if it's, oh, the width was perfect, you're saying. Okay, so the width was perfect, but they're short. All right. Then, yeah, maybe a 10 and a half B. Maybe a 10 and a half B, because 9 and a half would be kind of similar to the 10 and a half B on the D. That would be, that's tough. And I know it's even even more tough for you, Primoz, because you're in Slovenia. So... I would say if you're going to do B width, try a full size up and then go B width if you wanted to try it. Um, on mine, my mine actually feel wider, my Nikonas, and I'm able to wear a lot more different kinds of socks with them. So it was, it, it's, 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 I, maybe you are B width. Try, try the 10 and a half B on those. See if that works. Um, I hope you guys, I hope you can find another one. I'll keep my eyes open too. That's a tough question. That's a tough question. What's a good pair of Hondos? Tony J asks. Any Hondo. (laughs) They're all made the same. They're all made exactly the same. So it it just depends on what style you like. Um, One of my favorite styles, not only is the 2670 up there, but this one right here. This is, this is probably the Hondo that I wear the most. The 7875. As you can see, it is one that I wear the most. I really, really like this one also because it has the rubber sole on it. It has the rubber sole. When you get older, your feet swell too, yeah. It's true. I'm not looking forward to that. (laughs) Any Hondo. Try them on for the giveaway. Oh, Neck is looking forward. Neck is looking forward to that. Black Star. Yo. Yes, let's go. <laughs> the kangaroo hondo. Yes. You guys want to see the kangaroo hondo that I've been rocking? Oh. Kangaroo hondo. So you can get this one, actually. You can get this one at Klein Schmitz. It was it's on clearance right now. Klein Schmitz clearance for around a hundred bucks. When you call them though, because you can only get get it over the phone. That's what they told me. At least Cole there told me that uh, you can call and get the deals on the Hondos. So if they if you call them and they say, I don't know anything about any kangaroo Hondos, then just ask for Cole. Ask for Cole and tell him Jeremiah and Phil were there. And he says you got some Hondos in the back. And uh, I, want, I want one of those kangaroo ones that are on clearance for around $105. <laughs> For $105. Try it out. Try it out. All right. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, Jay? Good to see you. All right. You guys got other questions here? Or do you want to hear some music? What are you guys? What are you guys feeling? Oh, you want me to spell it? Okay. Yeah, I can play voices in the overtones. Sure. It's Klein. Uh, this is really hard. It's it's hard to smit, schmitz. Uh, I'm going to say that. So copy paste Klein Schmitz and then it's in Higgins. Higginsville, Missouri. So copy chat copy paste Klein Schmitz Higginville's Missouri and if I spelled it wrong then Google should auto correct you 
You need those boots so those ladies, so the lady doesn't get mad at you. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a good strategy. That's a good strategy there. Gail wants to do a duet. I'm totally down. Yep, Klein Schmitz fills there. Good store. Awesome store. They got a lot of Hondos in the back. They also have the 7875. This one here that I wear a lot. They have this one on clearance there too if you guys wanted to call them about this boot. They have it for $139, I think. Which is a crazy good deal. Uh, for a hondo <clears throat> like come on you kidding me call klein schmitz ask for cole if they're saying that there's no hondos in the back for clearance gotta practice it gotta practice it gal all right i'm gonna tune this thing here so that i can play voices in the overtones for nina because it's getting late over there in slovenia it's getting late you guys are the best, staying up late, hanging out with me here on Boots and Ballads. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. The bearded one's in South Louisiana. Oh, that's the that's another state I haven't been to yet. That's I for, I forgot. I probably only mentioned six. You guys are like, yeah, that's that's that doesn't make sense. Or maybe I did forty three. I'll have to check. But I haven't been to Louisiana yet too. So I, want, I, can't, I can't wait to go to Louisiana either. There's a, a large portion of the South that I haven't been to yet. Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. I basically am a rep, Gail. <laughs> Just a new kind. Doing videos for the companies that want to work with me. I'd love to do LSU football. That would be fun. That would be a fun time. I love football. Bummer about the Bills today. But hey, that's the way it rolls. You win some, you lose some. All right, here's some voices in the overtones. easy trying too hard has betrayed me men in the vanguard invade me and with just a few scars we relax and sneak past the morning now the faceless built on this bog to be graceless the earth rolled as the logs to inflate it with false empty throngs we relax and sneak past the morning yeah. we were chased in to get in line for a race when we recalled some sweet wines made with raisins and we'll drink it in time we relax and sneak past the morning just as I noticed, we won't age when we're young and youth when we're grown. Then played a song from home, and I heard voices in the overtones. Yes, hello, old friends, you've had much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin, and I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile. Thanking voices. In the overtones We got half as much as we have expected But still we took all that we could get We made it this far only half detected By all those old confederates We got half as much as we have expected That's why we always ask hi with so much not even half elected <laughs> It won't take long to wonder why 
We were pursued at the border Caught the eye of the controller Who put our names in a folder And still follows us worriedly So on the freeway We sang the old tunes that been waylaid By white hairs with brooms from their heyday And with no stocking moons We relax and sneak past the morning We missed schooling And still showed up late for the ruling To be branded in hate by the drooling But with no chain on the gate We relax and sneak past the morning we thought at length as we listened to air and we gave thanks to a beauty so fair that it outranks any hounding despair. We relax and sneak past in the morning. Now, just as I noticed the passengers blamed for a flight that never could have flown, then played a song from home. And I heard voices in the overtones Yes, hello old friends, you've had much to defend Come in and dry off for a while Let's talk where to begin And I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile Thanking voices in the overtones After little thefts and small obsessions, we passed on our tickets to the nosebleeds. Their mistakes are our lessons, and it's cited in our own creed. After little thefts and small obsessions, we all agreed how the deal would go down. In vacant dates and intentions, we are only guided by the sound, and the bells ring clearly. Frequencies fly freely And we follow the feeling To stroll right past security So come hither And rest past the wall just for shivers Ignore the loud call for quick treasures For they've come to us all We relaxed and snuck past in the morning Yeah Voices in the overtones Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Nina for the request Cheers, I appreciate you staying up late It's almost 3am I appreciate you staying up late Let's go <laughs> Oh man Is the Hondo Bullhide boots and the cow, Cowtown Bullhide boots, are they stiff or soft, Robert asks. Well, the the Hondo ones are the Hondo ones are pretty supple for a bullhide. Uh, the Cowtown ones might be a little bit more stiff, um, depending on, you know, the tannery that day or whatever. But for the most part, if the Cowtown elephant boots are supple... <laughs> Then uh, I'm gonna say that the bullhide ones are pretty supple as well. I haven't had a chance to try the bullhide, uh, the bullhide cow town yet, but hey, um, if they can do what they do with elephant boots, I'm I'm not gonna be surprised if they can do that with bullhide too, because the elephant boots that I tried were really supple and super soft. Yo, <clears throat> Buffalo Bills, let's go! Buffalo Bills game meetup. Hey, if you guys want to go. I'm going to be there in the Browns game. I'm going to be there in November, so get your tickets. Get your tickets. Cheer on the Bills. <clears throat> going to be there for the Browns game, November. Let's go, Bills. What's the next boot adding to my collection, Eric asks. Um, well, uh, a Way Out West boot just came in, and they look sick, man. Thank you, Carlos, for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you for staying up. Have a good day. See you tomorrow on YouTube for coffee and music. You found them on Tim's Boots, yeah. I know it's I know it's one you're talking about. It's a great deal.
Cowtown, I don't know how they do it, but they got great boots for uh, for that. <clears throat> they got great boots. Have a good one. Have a good one, everybody who's saying good night. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining me. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Whew, it's gonna be too cold. Oh, that's when that's when the Bills fans thrive when it's cold. When it's cold. Yes. Carol wants to hear we've bobtailed further for less. No problem. Uh, going to Kansas City, Missouri. Recommendations for boot stores to check out. You know, we were just there, me and Phil, in Higginsville, Missouri. So if you're nearby, it's uh, it's not too far away. It might be a little bit of a drive to Higginsville, Missouri. But if you can manage the drive, the boot store there, Klein Schmitz, is enormous. They have so many boots, and they got lots of different widths, too. They had a quadruple uh, E or more, like a, a 5E or whatever, like ridiculous sizes. And they got B widths for men. Uh, they have an awesome Fenolio lizard boot with a J toe that I highly recommend you check out, uh, Nick. So if you get the chance to go to Klein Schmitz, you should. You should. Go into Kansas City, Missouri. If you can head up to Higginsville, Missouri, it's a little bit of a drive, but. Um, that is my recommendation. Is Klein Schmitz. They got Hondos. They got Tony Llamas. They got Fenolios. They got it. They got those Nakona. Um, they're um, Primas. They got those Nakonas. Um, and some of them were in the clearance section. So they do have different sizes. You should call them Primas. Um, ask for ask for Cole because he took us to the clearance section and they did have those Nikonas there with the Uto. I, I posted it on the uh, on the Facebook boot group. Uh, so Klein Schmitz, Klein Schmitz, Nick, Klein Schmitz all day long. Plan a Bills group meetup. Are you a Bills fan, Gail? You... Jeez, you're right there in Toronto so I don't see why you wouldn't be. <laughs> Let's go. Go Bills. Sounds fun. Josh is a huge Browns fan. So is my buddy Daryl. So it's going to be fun. He's coming to that too. He's going to be around a bunch of Bills fans. So there will be Browns fans in the group on November 20th. It's going to be cold. But if you're a huge Browns fan... Yo, Lucas, thank you for the Super Chat tip. Yeah. Phil says, don't exit where the interstate on Google tells you. Yeah, it, Google still thinks that there's construction on the interstate there. Um, and it took us onto some back roads to get to Klein Schmitz right along the highway and I'm like why do we just exit why don't we just get off because it's right off the interstate it's right off thank you Lucas for the super chat tip From the boots I tried out from Tim's Boots. Also got, uh, speaking of Tim Boots, got a Cobra Cowtown boot that's coming up. So uh, Cowtown is going to be featured, and it's also going to be a November giveaway. So you guys here on the, uh, who are sticking out, who are hanging out here, 34 folks, you guys know what the October giveaway is going to be and the November giveaway now. If you're, if you're on Tim's Boots, look at those Cobras. Those are sick. Tim's Boots coming up. Yo, Malcolm! Thank you for the Super Chat tip. You guys are so generous. Lucas and Malcolm and Carlos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, I already announced. This is the after party, Josh. This is the after party. Uh, who was it? Who was it? It was... The winners were Carl and Linda. Linda, Linda, Andrade, and one second, Linda, Andrade, and Carl Wagner. They were the winners. Actually, it was kind of funny because Carl Wagner won the women's boots, and Linda Andrade won the men's boots. I'm wondering if they got confused. <laughs> Have a good one, Eric. Appreciate you hanging out. Lucas wants Benjamin Gunn. I can do that. No problem. Out of how many? Out of how many what?
still a little bit. Uh, what are you talking about next, 7711? There were 247 people who entered, if that's what you mean. Ended up being around 31 women entries. And 200 and what? 30 some. And that's with the extra entries that people get. Yeah, 200. There were 247 entries altogether. And then some people in the Boots and Ballads vault get extra entries because uh, they can trade their one for seven. But that didn't seem to make a difference this time. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. That's just how, uh, that's just how odds work. <laughs> All right, here's some We've Bobtailed Further for Less. Good song for this Sunday evening. Thank you for the request, Carol. And then I will play uh, Benjamin Gunn for Lucas. down there, Red Bull. That big old moon graces my rear view Like a high beam cascade rig A hauling stone for that morning crew As I stop to rest For my last leg And this road's running Out of city With no expectations Or toes No she shines To the roots that grip me To bear the load Yeah, we've about Tailed a further For less And it looks like We're already Dressed To make this Right Don't ever stop, son As she put away the plates With more cold shoulders won We follow our streets And this road's running out of heartland She even put us on the crown But these roots cradle a strong stand And won't ever let it down Yeah, we've about tailed a further for less we can't stop now, I must confess We have to try It's been miles since dinner Forget to grease the fittings. Constantine cheers, parking lot sinners. So I don't forget how to spend my slim winnings. And this 
roads running out of spirit She cracked and full of holes I believe it's time to commandeer it Where the roots take hold Yeah, we've above tail the further for less And here is the very best On our minds There it is, there it is We've bobtailed further for less Whoops, sorry about that Thank you for the request. Carol, that's a good one for a Sunday evening rolling into Monday because that song's about making it making it your own, right? Making it your own way because you've definitely bobtailed further for less things in your life. So why not bobtail to make yourself better and to better your life, to be happier. That's what that's all about. Good one to roll into the week with. Thank you, Carol, for the request. Have a good one, Toadie. See you on Coffee Music tomorrow morning, bright and early. Yes. Yo, have a good one, Jim. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Have I ever thought about purchasing a Stingray boot salsa, man? Yeah, I definitely have. I definitely want Stingray boots at some point. The only problem is that they have to be perfectly fitted because stingray is not going to stretch at all really um really tough and hard leather they can't even they can't even make it the same way that they make other boots because stingray breaks equipment <laughs> it's so hard those little those little bones on the outside oh man it's crazy it's crazy so they got to be perfectly fitted that's the only thing that's holding me back from uh some stingray boots is that I would want to try them on and make sure I have the spiritual experience in them first. It's not like an online deal. I don't want to be trying them on online and I want to make sure I have a 12B proper or custom because stingray, you don't want to mess around with that. See you tomorrow. Bright and early, Jim. Bring that anchor head coffee. Gail's gonna need a wake up call. Call the call the front desk, Gail. People roast you in school for wearing boots. That's dumb. What a shame. You gotta educate them. Educate them. Boots are awesome. Way better than those silly sneakers they got you got some stingrays from cowtown oh maroon and burgundy with black <sighs> you kidding me mr real that sounds like a beautiful pair of boots that sounds like a beautiful beautiful pair of boots cowtown does make nice boots right here in the u.s most of the time sometimes they have sometimes they have mexican made boots but most of their boots are made in the usa and it's pretty cool that they can do that all right, here's some Benjamin Gunn. Boots last 100%. Here I go calling. Not a gentleman at all Still I go a-calling Down to 191 A rainy gently patter On the furrow of my brow And with outstretched hand I run into Benjamin Gunn You will find your treasure boy Say he with a grin 
But always know where you are going And don't forget where you begun He may not carry all the wits that he once had But he knows something of treasure and of being alone He had shook my hand and he had turned off in the night And then I saw my treasure and it glimmered more than gold Greater than flats find or that any ex could mark This treasure was beautiful, this treasure was bold One year passed, I saw Gunn walking in the snow And towards me he came with that grin he'd always show Start at the beginning, boy, I know you recall well So I spoke to him like everyone who has an ear to tell Raise up your ears I speak of the common deer Nicholas You got the same name as Same last name as one of the winners Nicholas came in here He's like, who won? Somebody won with the name Linda And Drade Maybe you know her. Let's go. We came from the old world to New York, through the ghost towns on the new gold rush. Pursue ya. You always submit to love. When you're shaking down the colored sea green, a walking a weak plank with a nothing but trust Maybe ready to sleep, perchance dream and say I, I There's the rub and I say, I say, I say Hey, I wanna spend these days dreaming with you, yeah Hey, I wanna spend these days dreaming with you Yes, we landed here together and we're only looking forward, so we rig the ship to blow. You keep that fire burning. You keep the lights to make it all explode. And you still take me over love. You're the common deer. Giants barking at the ones who own the land, amused at watching us pitch tents. The laughs come softer as they watch us grow. And the reverie pilgrims of broad worlds and dreams swinging through billboard skeletons. What happens when come high water? We'll grab floating doors and follow the flow. Yeah, hey, I wanna spend these days. Spend these days dreaming with you. Yes. Looks like we're fair distance. Let's lake it tonight and watch the fireflies glow. I'll get that fire burning. You start the great firework show and you still take me over the lolly of the common deer. Yeah.
Benjamin Gunn with a little bit of Reverie Pilgrims added on at the end. Ha! <laughs> yo, yo, yes, Nicholas, Nicholas Andrade, Nicholas Andrade. The winners were Carl Wagner for the women's boots and Linda Andrade for the men's boots. Linda Andrade for the men's boots. Let's see here. Linda Andre was the person who won uh, from Duncanville, Texas. Do you know them? Do you know them, Nicholas Andre? Uh, is that your wife? Is that your mom? Is that your sister? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> who won? Somebody you related to? Oh, man, oh, man, that is funny, funny stuff. Let me see here. Yeah. Checking the te- checking the stats here. And Linda Andre definitely entered for the men's boots. Definitely entered men's boots here. And Carl Wagner definitely entered for the women's boots. 100%. <laughs> You're going to have to take my word for it. Actually, I can hide it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide these. I'm going to hide these col- columns here, and then I'll show you. I'm going to hide these columns, and I can show you that I'm not making this up. This is, this is, this is just what happened, and it's only, it only happens live. Can you believe this? It happens live. All right. I, I hid the columns because I promised everybody I wouldn't share their information. So here we go. I'm going to share this, share the, share this with you now. So here's the receipts. Men's boots, men's boots, men's boots. See, they entered the men's boots. Linda, Andre, entered the uh, the men's boots category, whether on purpose or by mistake, and won. And, (laughs) let me see here. Where is the form responses? The women's. The women's form responses. (laughs) Carl Wagner entered women's boots and won. (laughs) It's the truth, guys. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. (laughs) She's your wife, Nicholas? Yes! Congrats! (laughs) She won the men's boots one. So I don't know if she entered for you or if she entered for herself and then just ended up winning the men's boots one. So I'm going to talk to Carl because if she entered for you and you're going to get those boots or if she wants those ones and I'll see if Carl wants the other ones. Yeah, that one's up to your wife. You're going to have to talk to your wife about that one. I got to talk to Carl first, though. Oh, that's it right there. Big Wag Dog is in the house. Carl Wagner for the women's boots. That's you, and you wanted them for your wife. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so a man won. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. A man won the women's boots (laughs) to get for his wife. And a woman won the men's boots to get for her husband. (laughs) Maybe. Well, that's the way it's going to be now because Carl Ragnar wants those boots for his wife. So that's just the way it is. So looks like Nicholas. (laughs) Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. That is so cool. What a world. What a world. (laughs) I can't believe that happened. Double winners in the party, in the after party right now. Oh my gosh. Her size is 10 double E. She might be ended up with these rough outs because I don't think these Olivia Bennett boots. <laughs> you entered for your husband. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. If you like me, I better not sing that. I'm going to get copyright strike, Phil. 
<laughs> oh man. Two two spouses entered for their spouse and one. Oh my gosh. I think you're right. That does need to be a song now, Gail. <sighs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. The serendipity of it all and it happens live here on Boots and Ballads. Guys. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh, what a great, what a great Boots and Ballads ending now that we know that. What a great, what a great Boots and Ballads ending. Anything coming up on Irish Banjo? Uh, not right now. Man, Mark, I've been so busy running around, making content, uh, being on tour, doing the live streams. And then on Thursday... On Thursday, this Thursday, I'm headed back down to Texas to attend the Boot and Saddle Makers Roundup there in Wichita Falls for custom boot makers. Because, man, we've been doing all this stuff for all the brands. I want to give some custom boot makers some love. So I'm headed down there to cover that event and talk to custom boot makers down there. Because uh, every time I talk to a custom boot maker, they're always like, we have lots of events, but you got to go to Wichita Falls Boot and Saddle Maker Roundup. That's the one. So that's the one I'm going to. That's the one I'm going to. Oh, that's so awesome. The Andrea, the Andreds. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. Yeah, I got one more song here. I can do one more song and then I got to hit it because it is Sunday night and I got lots of work to do tomorrow here on, um, here on Monday, as I'm sure all you guys have lots of work too. Mr. Real Meter Media wants one shot or Nightcrawler. Which one, guys? Vote it. Vote on it here. Oh yeah, I'll email you. I'll email you, Carl. Don't worry. Um, I'll email you after this. <laughs> Have a good one, Phil. You're the best. You're the best. Have a great rest of your evening. <sighs> Man, what an awesome guy Phil is. What an awesome guy. Making a bunch of stuff possible for this channel since it pretty much started. He's been here for a long time. Lots of support and he makes great boots too. Somebody else tipped. Lucas is winking and says he wants one shot too. All right, let's do it. One shot it is. The one shot night, the one shot vote wins. So here we go. One shot it is. This is the last song of the evening. Thank you so much guys for hanging out with me on this after party. Love the, the winners. So much love in this live stream. So much love in this live stream. Man wins for wife. Women, woman wins for husband. I, you can't plan this stuff, guys. You can't plan this. All right, here's some, here's some one shot to close out the night. You guys are the best. I love you so, so much. Coming off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired to sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games so the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar. They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone. I said, barkeep. We came in only with our guns and good looks We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books But a drink would liven up our weary bones What do you say? He said Empty your wheel gun out on the bar And we'll see how many rounds there are oh. One shot for one shot And I only deal in 45s One shot for the whole lot And that leaves you one shot for your life Well I 
I looked at the bullets, but I look longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances, so I told the boys we had a deal and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the Rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. Oh, one shot for, one shot and I'm only dealing 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hip, so I kept my word a la tete. Then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, I was quick to my knife. He knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. Well, before he ran, he let them fall to the ground. And I bought the boys and Kate's another round. Oh, one shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got. Got one shot for your life. Yes, all right now. One shot. Ha. One shot. Thank you, Mr. Real Media, for the super chat tip. Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't worry. I will email you, Andrades. Yo, I will email you, I will email all of the winners, so do not worry, I'll email you right now before I go to bed, and oh, I'm so happy you guys tuned in for the after party to learn that, and I'm glad what I learned from this too. What serendipity, it is incredible. That was, that was so cool. You guys are the best, love you so much, thank you for joining the after party and the entire stream as it is, huge shout out again to Twisted X for making this possible because this sort of thing doesn't happen without uh, an awesome brand like Twisted X making it happen. Wow. <laughs> what an ending. What a night. Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning for another live. It'll be Coffee and Music number 1018 or maybe 1020. I don't remember. It's a 1,000 something, and I will see you bright and early between 8.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern Time. But until then, I love you guys so much, and I'm wishing you a spectacular evening. Have a great week if I don't see you. Peace. Have a good one. <laughs>